John Kerry tells Palestinian official in London Trump will not remain in office long by Jim Hoff for thegatewaypundit.com. John Kerry met with a top Palestinian official in London recently. Kerry told the fatal leader to stay strong because Trump will not be in office long. Kerry also hinted that he may run for office again. He is so sadly mistaken if the people are going to take this crap. Kerry negotiated against the Israelis in a nuclear deal with Iran. The Iranian regime was given billions of dollars from the Obama administration and immediately began investigating in more military operations. The Jerusalem Post reported uh, Ma Arif uh, reported that former U.S. Secretary of State John Kelly met in London with a close associate of the Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas Hussein Aga for a long and open conversation about a variety of topics. Aga apparently reported details of the conversation to senior uh, PA officials in Ramallah a senior Palestinian official confirmed to Ma'ariv that the meeting took place. Aga is uh, one of Abbas's closest associates and one of the veteran peacemakers with Israel. He conducted the London uh, track, quote, secret negotiations held back, uh, held from uh, actually 2010 to 2013 between the emissaries of Netanyahu, attorney Yitzhak, Malako and Brigadier General Mike Herzog, Herzog or whatever. Under the supervision and presence of Dennis Ross, Aga also authored uh, with uh, Yossi Balin and Balin Abbas agreement in the 1990s. He considered a staunch supporter of the peace process, very close to Abbas, and maintains an extensive network of contacts with many elements, including Israelis. Let's get to the gist. During the conversation, according to the report, Kerry asked Aga to convey a message to Abbas and asked him to hold on and be strong. Tell him to hold Aga. He told Aga that he should stay strong in his spirit and play uh, for time, that he will not break and will not yield to President Trump's demands. According to Kerry, Trump will not remain in office for a long time. It was reported that within a year, there was a good chance that Trump would not be in the White House. Several social media users are wondering if this is a violation of the Hatch Act, you think? Not that it matters to Democrats. Yeah, but it matters to the American people. If this is true, this is a clear Hatch Act violation. Let's all start digging for carry connections to the hashtag Iran deal. Absolutely great idea, family ties included. Hashtag traitor, hashtag release the memo, hashtag find the text at web group one, at state department, at imperator, uh, Rex 3, The Last Refuge, at Real Donald Trump, at VP, at FBI, Drop the Mic 45. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Lurch just said that. Uh, you know, they should be arrested. What's taking so long to arrest these criminals? We should have this on tape. A video of something. Could you imagine? But he, I guess he's not on video. Unbelievable. The treason. Unbelievable. There are no words. If, I mean, if this happened, which I'm more than sure it did, they should be behind bars at this point. Unbelievable. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.